In this video, we're going to look at Virtuoso's new AI data table creator to create random rows of data to use in your tests, where you can provide context and use large language models to create random variables that you can drag and drop straight into your test and then use to execute your tests using various data scenarios. So let's see how that works. So using Virtuoso's natural language programming, I've been able to come through and write test steps to navigate to our e-commerce store, to locate a product and then add into the bag using just natural language syntax with a hint of what we see on the screen to interact with the element, to go into the check, uh, shopping bag and then finally to the checkout where we come through to the checkout steps. So now we've got to the checkout where we're going to enter in some data into the test. Email, full name, phone number, address, zip code, and credit card numbers. But of course, uh, to do that, what we ideally want to do is to make the test so that we can data drive it. So not put the data in the test, but put variables. So for example, write dollar $email with default james.b at testemail.com. Look at the screen and it says email and press enter. So what we've now done is created a placeholder for a variable, which is for our data, but we put a default value in here so I can create my test. What we're gonna look at as in a second is how we can then generate random test data using AI or random test data sets so that I could create multiple iterations of this test so that I could test, let's say, with five different customers. Well, let's first go through and just create the other placeholders in exactly the same way. I'm going to put a placeholder, uh, full name with a default James B in full name. So again, you can see how we're using natural language and simply by looking at the screen with syntax and the default data, it goes and interacts with the screen. So in best Blue Peter fashion, I'm gonna, here's one I made earlier. There you go, I've gone and created the other steps all in the same fashion to insert the data into my test. Okay, so having done that, now what I want to do is say, well, I want to run the same test, but I want five different customers, but I don't have any data. So what I could do is come over to the Virtuoso test data section, and you can see we've got our new AI generated data table, and I could call this uh, guest checkout data. And then I could describe what I want on there. So I could say, create uh, 10 rows of data with email, full name, uh, phone number, street address, zip code, uh, test credit card numbers, and test CSV numbers. And then when I press on send, it basically will go ahead and create me 10 rows of data with those variables. There we go. So we can see we've got email, full name, phone number, street address, zip code, credit card, and CSV number, and we've got 10 rows of data. So now I could create my data table. So now you can see I've got my guest checkout with those 10 rows of data, which I can utilize. And now if I come back, and you'll see how in the test data table, it's also created the variable names for us. So now if I come back to my test, what I'm gonna do is click on the three dots here and manage test data. So then I'm gonna assign the data table that we created. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the variables. So email mapped here, full name, phone number, uh, street address, the zip code. Remember, all of these have been generated by the AI test data table generator. And then finally, we have the CSV number. And then when I click on save, what I'm gonna be able to do is now say, I can come in and execute my test, which I'll do manually, but you could do through scheduled plans or through CICD. I'm gonna to choose to run with test data with the 10 rows of data. So when I execute this, it's gonna run that same test with the variables that I've created. And if I look at the project activity, you can see we're running 10 journeys. If we look into the actual test themselves, you can see we've got 10 different data rows. So for example, here we've got our john.email, Emily Johnson, Liam Chen and so on. These are the random test data values that we generated from our AI test data. We basically very rapidly created those automatically. Now note that you could also, by just saying something like contact data, I could say something like generate um, 10 rows of data 
ready uh, to import into a CRM. So just by doing that, I've given it some context by giving it a table name. I want context, and I just said I want 10 rows of data, and then it should go through. There we are, and it's generated first name, last name, email, phone number, and address. If I wanted to say, I don't know, fast car data, generate uh, six rows of data, then equally it will go and generate me a table, there we go, with um, six fast cars. Or equally, I could say um, London data. So create uh, 10 users with email and phone based in London with London postcodes. And this way, again, you can sort of provide quite good context in terms of what you want generated. And there we go. So we can see that we've got users based on what I asked for. So users, emails, phone numbers, all with London postcodes. And again, then once you create that, you can assign it to your table. So just a really great way to be able to create rapid sets of usable data to drive your tests with, all using our brand new AI data table creator leveraging large language models.